Coming back in, supporting the team. We know it's been a long, long year for everyone, but I'm so grateful to see you back here supporting everyone. On a day when 10,000 fans came back to Old Trafford to witness Edison Cavani scoring that glorious, glorious goal. It was over 400 days since fans were inside Old Trafford. It wasn't exactly the end that we wanted. One all. Brian got the equaliser. Fulham come away with a point. Already relegated Fulham. And it was a game that dwindled out. A game which didn't build on the momentum that Cavani started with in that first half. And ultimately is disappointing. And ultimately it represents exactly what football was before the fans came back in the stadium. United have been lacklustre. United, since we got into the Europa League final, we've been playing largely very badly and really the momentum going into that final is against us Harry Maguire still on crutches that's a big fear but from that game today the absolute main takeaway is it's great to have fans back I've found football so boring in the last couple of months uh, bar individual moments from United which are exciting it's just it's the hostility that fans bring when when the team's on the counter-attack and the, and the fans get behind them when a team when a player misses an easy chance and a fans have a go at them, that's what that's what football's all about. And without getting full of cliches, that's exactly why I love fans being back in the stadium and why I found it so boring and so sanitised without it. And for them to be there for that Cavani goal, what a moment for Ellenson. Scored 16, I think he's... 16 goals, I think he scored now for United this season. I think he's scored 11 in the Premier League. The guy's mustard. The guy, for him to have had that moment was brilliant. But ultimately, it was a moment which now gets lost in the fact that for the majority, that whole second half effectively, Fulham were in control against Matt. This is already relegated Fulham who have absolutely nothing to play for. And I think this really sums up Manchester United under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer because under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, there have been so many moments, and two in particular when his job was on the line, where, where United got behind him and, and we improved. And when, when, when failure was right there, United avoided it. But when success is above us, and when success is the option, I don't think we have the quality at the moment to take advantage of that. To, or maybe the mentality. I don't know what it is. But they're 1-0 up against Fulham after that Cavani goal in that first half. We should have just blitzed Fulham. Absolutely blitzed it. Should have been 2 3 0 before half time. Easy. Bring Ahmad on in the 60th minute. Enjoyed that. It should have been an exhibition second half. Instead, it was a second half where Fulham came back into it. Fulham ultimately got a point, which means nothing to them. And look, I've said it to you all along that the Premier League has been dead for me for a good few weeks since we've secured our top four position. It doesn't matter whether we finish second, third, or fourth. It will be preferable and it'll be nicer to finish second, but it really does not matter. And I think that's really coming across in how Manchester United play. You can see when, when players are playing complacent. And that was the case there. One person who was really complacent there, and, that, and, and I hate to point it out because I think wan over the course of the season, because of how good Luke Shaw has been playing, I think wan improvement has been overlooked. But wan got pulled in for the cross there. And it reminds me, I think it was Leipzig when we conceded two in the first, what, 10 minutes away. And wan got pulled in very easily. It's very... Silly. It's a very easy thing for him not to do, but it seems to happen far too often. I hope that does improve and get out of his game going into next season. But an interesting thing there was the fact that Lindelof was switched to the right-hand side and Twanzebe played where Maguire was because in the Liverpool game, it was Lindelof who played there. Uh, I think Twanzebe is getting eyed up to start that Europa League final because what it's eight days now before the Europa League final and Maguire is still on crutches. He might have had a fantastic fitness record all season, but I think United are going to have to prepare to play without Maguire in the Europa League final. And that's very scary because it definitely means that Freddie McTominay are going to play. I mean, they were going to play anyway. But there's no chance you're going to see Popper in a pivot. There's no chance, therefore, you're going to see Rashford on the left, I don't think. I think you're going to see Popper on the left against Villarreal and Rashford on the right. And that doesn't work. But back to that game today. As I said, largely disappointing and it's such a shame because that moment was such a a beautiful moment an explosive moment like 460 odd days since McTominay's long range goal against Man City was the last goal scored at Old Trafford Cavani did that today and it was such a beautiful goal the audacity to try it the quality of the finish it was more like a chip on a golf course than a shot on a football pitch it was beautiful and it was perfect 
But instead of us talking about that as the main headline and just happy, <laughs> happy feelings all around, instead you've, you've got to focus on the negatives that we've seen that, that repeated. It's not just the fault of no fans being in the stadium. The same patterns emerge today that have been there all season long without fans. And United now, you know, I, I might be contradicting myself when I say this, but this game against Wolves does matter because this game against Wolves is four days before the Europa League final. So this is the game where the momentum has to be carried into it. And we have to go out against Wolves. We have to put out a full strength team. Or maybe he's going to rest a few players. I don't think he will. But we have to take advantage of that game against Wolves to build momentum. Because sure, if we go into that game on the back of a defeat against Liverpool that was horrible and a draw against Fulham and then dropping points against Wolves going into the Europa League final, Villarreal are going to be absolutely buzzing about that. So that game is important. And it's so, as I said, it's amazing to have 10,000 fans back in Old Trafford. I can't wait until there's 70,000 fans. That's going to be beautiful next season. But at least the fans are starting to come back. It's good to see so many of you holding up the Glazer out banners that were inside Old Trafford, continue the protest. It doesn't matter what happens. United fans will not remain quiet on this. So it's good to see that. It's great to see Cavani scoring his first goal in front of the Stretford end at Old Trafford and to hear gimme, 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 although it wasn't loud enough. And it's kind of a hard chant, I think, to get around the whole stadium. It'll be good in the away ends. But one point, disappointed, not surprised, focusing on the positives of Cavani and the fans being back. But the same patterns were there that have been there all season without fans. So you can't blame the fans for those. Let me know what your reaction is in the comments below and make sure you subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. But we've only got two games left now. Well, one game left before the Europa League final. And I don't think we're going to have Maguire for it for the Europa League final. So who's going to start against Wolves? Maybe that's going to be a real indicator as to who our centre-back partnership is going to be for the Europa League final. Let me know what you think in the comments below and subscribe if you're new. Until next time though, take it easy.